Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another Warbots video and we're checking out drone microchips today. I know a lot of people get confused on these, so what we're going to do is take a look at each slot type separately. I'll make a video for each one and throw these on a playlist. You've got your A slots, your B slots, your C, your D, your F, and your AC slots. Hopefully this will help you understand what chips do what and which ones are good. So we're going to try and look at every single chip for every single slot. All right, so after we go over all the microchips, we're going to take a look at the very best robots in the game. I'm going to tell you guys which robots are the ones to get, which ones are worth using as of late 2021. All right, things get nerfed, things get buffed, new things get added. So that may change in 2022, but kind of late 2021 these are going to be the best of the best as far as the robots go so let's go get into those microchips and then we'll get back to this in just a minute all right so in this video we are going to check out the f type chips these are the shield chips these are these are amazing for you it kind of sucks when you're trying to deal with somebody else who has them because their shield just pops on over and over and over and over and over again but when you have them the same thing happens and these things will protect your robot They'll make it very hard for people to hit you and kill you. So first off, we're going to look at the, the my favorite one of all is the mild damage absorber chip. Every time you take 70,000 damage, all right, the absorber comes on. This, this shield cannot be destroyed. The only thing that can get through this is a shield popper module. And a lot of people have started running these, but the shield popper module is the only thing that can get through it. This chip will come on every time you take 75,000. 70,000 damage within a five second time period and it will block all damage for a few seconds and then it will go away um the higher the tier you got your blue purple and gold the higher the tier the longer the shield lasts but this is the one i try to run on all of my robots if my drone has a shield chip mild damage absorber is the one i try to get for it okay hands down the best one out there Next, we have our on mild damage Aegis Shield. This one has 45,000 hit points at gold. All right, this one will block all damage until the 45,000 hit points are gone. So the thing I don't really care about, don't care for about this is that 40,000 hit points goes really fast. You know, you got two or three guys shooting at you. That shield's done in like a second or half a second. So the absorber is way better. But the Aegis Shield does block all damage until those hit points are gone or until somebody uses Shield Popper. So the mild damage chips are definitely the ones to get. The Absorber is the best. The Aegis is the second best. And then you can throw on the Ansile if you need to. Next, we have the Ansile version, the mild damage Ansile. That one's got 60,000 hit points, which goes really, really fast. And the Ansile shields only block the kinetic weapons like the rockets or the machine guns. Most energy weapons go right through the Ansile shield. The Ansile is the blue shield. The Aegis is the yellow one. And the Absorber is the purple. So those are the three mild damage chips. Um, I love these chips a lot on my robots. But I definitely try to go with the mild damage Absorber over the other two. Alright, next we have our on high damage Absorber. We got our on high damage Ansile and our high damage Aegis. All the same thing as the last chips we just looked at, except for these ones come in at 150,000 damage, and you have to take that within five seconds. All right. The high damage absorber is a really, really good chip. I love these a lot, but this is something I would put on a tank like a Fenrir, a T Falcon, your Invader, anything that has huge hit points. These work really well on, but I would still prefer the mild damage over the high damage guys so all right first off you want to look for the mild damage chips if you can't get those look for the high damage chips all right and always absorber first ages second and style third so let's go check out some of the other chips now we have the on low durability absorber and style and Aegis Shields. And these come on when your health gets down to 30%. So when you hit 30% health, as long as you're not la using a last stand, this chip will come in really handy. I would still prefer the high damage or the mild damage absorber over one of these, okay? This is only good if like this is all you have and you're not running a last stand. Sure, why not throw one of these on your F slots, all right? It's okay, you know, it's okay. Nothing too special, but 
If you don't have anything better, go ahead and throw a low durability one on. Just don't use it with the uh, last stand because they both trigger about the same time and there's no point in having a shield and a last stand that come on at the same time, all right? That's not really gonna help you too much. So maxed out last stand does not work well with this particular chip. All right, next we have the on first hit Ansile, the on first hit Aegis, and the on first hit Absorber. I just went ahead and picked the Ansile real quick, but these ones, the second your robot gets shot by somebody for the very first time, this shield's gonna pop on. And it's going to last for a little while until either the hit points are gone or until the timer is up, depending on which one of these, these you have. All right, so the Ansile has only got 90,000 hit points. That'll go really fast, guys. Definitely still go for, with the Absorber if possible. But these are really good for your beacon runner. So if you want to get to a beacon as quickly as possible and you want to run one of these, just don't run this with the Battleborn because they will both come on at the same time. There's no point in having a Battleborn active and a shield chip for the most part. All right, so that's something you want to think about. The on first hits will interact with the Battleborns. They'll trigger at the same exact time. So I would only run one or the other. I wouldn't run both. All right. The nice thing about these is you get to a beacon, somebody shoots you for the first time, the shield pops up, and you're protected for a while. Only problem is, say you're halfway across the map and a stray bullet hits you or someone shoots you with a long-range laser beam, the shield comes on before you even get to the beacon. By the time you get to the beacon, your shield might be finished already, so it's always a little bit of a gamble using these first hits or the Battleborn units. Alright, so I believe those are all of the current F-type chips. As I said, Absorber is always the first best, alright? Aegis is the second best, and Sala is the third. So always go for the absorbers first. And I kind of did those in order of my favorite ones. We looked at every type of chip on here, unless they add some new ones, which may happen in the future. But uh, as of right now, as far as the F slots, the shield slot chips go, those are the ones to get, guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of gameplay. We're just going to go out and play a fun game right now. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this. All right, this one will go on the playlist for these for these chips. So make sure you check that out. We're gonna have, you know, a, a video for each slot type on that playlist. So all the chips in the game should be covered. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let's go do some gameplay, and that's probably gonna wrap this video up. All right, guys, Shell, one of the best robots on the battlefield right now. If you can level him up enough, and you can use this guy right. He is devastating. All right. Holy terror on the battlefield. If played correctly, Shell is definitely one of the very top of the top right now. Finrear, a beast. This guy is the beast. That's what they should have called him. They should have called him the beast, guys. Super tanky. If you get the Bernadette, Bernadette Wolf pilot, throw it on top of the Finrear. He is amazing. He is amazing. Love it. Definitely one of my top favorites. Fafner. Fafner gets up in the air. He can zigzag around, fly in all kinds of weird patterns, and people have a really tar hard time hitting this guy with a lot of weapons, making him very hard to kill if played correctly. So Fafner is definitely becoming one of the top robots in the game right now. You've got your long distance lockdown Typhon. This is devastating. The stands in the back, and this thing will mess people up. Love it. Love it. Love it. Demeter, the super healer, guys. Everybody needs to have one of these in their hangar. This is probably one of the most helpful robots to your team because it heals everybody up. It does great damage. It's just an all-around amazing robot. Everybody needs one of these. Orochi, unbelievably fun. Great at grabbing beacons right now. Just such a good, fun robot. I'll tell you what, it's a little bit of a skill bot, though. It takes a little while to get used to it, but, man, once you do... You will love this guy. You will love this guy. Hades guy is still one of the best robots in the game. As long as somebody's not hitting you with the shield popper when you come out and use your ability, Hades will dominate the battlefield. Shield popper is really this guy's only weakness. And, hey, I love me some Hades. Always have, always will, I bet. Hades is amazing. Hawk, definitely one of the best Titan destroyers in the game. 
I don't particularly like playing this bot. I don't find him fun, but man, if you get good with the Hawk, if you know how to play this guy, it will eat some people up quickly on the battlefield. Definitely a very devastating robot. I still find Scorpion to be one of the best assassins. He can jump in, do some major damage, and get the heck out of there back to safety. I mean, Scorpion is such a good robot. I still feel he's one of the very best robots in the game as of right now. Traditionalist Falcon, guys. Very cool. One of the most tanky robots in the game. Super hard to kill this guy if you get that traditionalist skill on your Falcon. Unfortunately, when you get the traditionalist skill, you only have one weapon available, but you're unbelievably hard to kill. So, you're sacrificing firepower for the tankiest tank in the game. So, Falcon can be pretty cool. He's, he's kind of like one step below the best of the best, in my opinion. Still very, very good, but not one of the top robots at the moment, but still amazing. Arachnid Invader or any invader, really tanky robot. I find that these guys are hard to play. That's why you don't see them that much is they're not easy to play. But if you can figure out how to play the invaders, they will do really good on the battlefield. I mean, Invader is an excellent overall robot. Kind of one step below the best of the best, if you ask me. Now, if you like to be a sniper, Jaeger is definitely a really cool sniping bot. I don't prefer, prefer this for, like, beacon matches or anything because scorpions and anybody who can run up to you and get inside your shield will take you out quick. But if you can stay way in the back and make sure nobody gets near you, this guy can wreak some havoc on the battlefield, but as soon as somebody gets close enough to get inside your shield, you're done for, all right? They will eat you up quick, but his, his shield is crazy strong. He's got a crazy strong built-in weapon, and he can have two heavy weapons with long range. So for those really long range maps, Jaeger is pretty cool. For everything else, eh, not really, but hey, still one of the better robots for sniping. Next, we're going to go ahead and mention the Phantom. He's kind of fallen off. All right, he's starting to get a little outdated. He's not as good as he used to be, but Phantom's still amazingly fun and can do pretty well. All right, I don't really recommend him to be in your main hangar, but if you have a Phantom and you just want something to use every once in a while for a lot of fun, or if you need a really fast beacon runner, he's pretty good at be getting beacons, but with Fafner and Orochi out, all right, he's going to start to fall behind, but still a really cool little guy. And finally, we're going to mention Blitz. He's probably one step below the best of the best right now. Still an awesome little robot. I love this guy. If you use his ability right, you get the right pilot skills. Once you use that ability with the Clive Vicious pilot on there, he turns into a little tank for a few seconds. So he's amazing, man. Use, the, use his ability bust one of those healing modules and it's super hard to kill this little guy super amazing little robot he's definitely one step below the best but he's he's almost up there with the best guys so those are my recommendations for the best robots in the game so hopefully you enjoyed the microchip tutorial and the best robots in the game guide so yep catch you guys later have a great day Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell. Set those notifications to all. That way you don't miss any awesome videos that I upload in the future. See you guys. Thanks for watching.